Well, tonight we start with our most Minnesotan, Minnesotan, Lindsay Whalen. She is women's basketball in this state, leading the Gophers to one of their only Final Four appearances as a player, then four, count them, four championship titles with the Minnesota Lynx, a few gold medals with Team USA, and then a shot at coaching the team she put on the map, the University of Minnesota. But this spring, after five seasons, word came she was out at the U, and talk quickly followed. Did she resign willingly, or was she forced to leave or be fired? She and I had a talk today, so she got her chance to tell her story her way. When Lindsay Whalen, the player, became Lindsay Whalen, the head coach, the fairy tale seemed to come full circle until you fast forward five years from the day she became the coach to that morning last March. Yeah, it was a big life change. So at first, really hard. I mean, I think about it like every day. Thinks about the game she played for 20 years and coached for five until in a matter of hours, it all came to an abrupt end. Were you fired? Yeah. Well, at, at that point, I had two options. And so there wasn't an option for me to keep coaching. I agreed to resign. The other option was to be terminated. And at that moment, I was like, I am U of M, you know, it's my alma mater. And yeah. I was like, I, I don't want to be, you know, fired from alma mater. And so on that March morning, she agreed to be relieved of her duties. It was something she didn't want at the time, but in all this time and space since of hindsight, it was something she needed. I thought about, okay, should I keep going? This is pretty tough. I've really struggled at times during the season and other times coaching, but I'm not going to quit. You know, it's like, you know, I'm not a quitter. So it's just like once the decision was made, it was like a big weight was lifted too. A weight was lifted from her, yes. Her stress and coping with three losing seasons. But on that day, she was announced as out. We felt like it was in the best interest for our program uh, and for her. She didn't come to a press conference to tell everybody why. Here is why she didn't come. That was the hardest part of that day was just the kids, you know, and that's why ultimately it was just so, it was just like, this is just too much. I can't do the press conference. I was just like, I have to go home. I was just like, I just have to go home. I want to call my mom. I want to come home and like see Ben. So emotionally, I just like, I can't go down there. I'm not going to be able to like put words together. Filling the void of her absence that day was speculation of what went down. She heard all of that too. So she quickly fired off her feelings on Twitter, reminding all of us that the day was hard for her. Like I said, she gave this state 20 years of her blood and sweat on the floor. And so we should have allowed her one moment of tears. She told us in that tweet, I am a human being. Today, she is more than whole again, weighing her options and taking her time. Do you think you'll coach again? Uh, never say never. Have you ever thought of co-hosting Breaking the News? Mmm. <laughs> That's it. That'd be interesting. Yeah, I'd come in. Love it. <laughs> Love it. 6.30. <laughs> Every night. The seat next to me is open, Lindsay. If you don't come on for the show, I know why. Lindsay is very busy. She plays golf or tennis almost every day and is having the time of her life. On the golf side, she plays against her husband, amateur golfer Ben Grieve. And the deal, she told me, is she gets a 20-stroke lead to start. If she holds on to win, Ben does the dishes. If Ben wins, Lindsay washes and dries. To this day, Lindsay has never done the dishes.